na, 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 na. Welcome to the Lucky 38. It was 38, right? I forgot the name. Lucky 45? 38! Good stuff. Let's go. Come on. Where to, partner? Where to, partner? I want to go all the way to the top. Time to hunt down this bulimic bitch. <laughs> I'm a penio. I am Boner, the Skeleton Man. That's with two L's. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Phoenix Jade, and I approve of this badassery. I got some stuff to do. Some, some houses to burn down. If you know what I'm saying. Do I have it? Oh, 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 look at all these Securitrons. How do we get to where we need to be? Do I have to... So, Benny has been handled, and you've recovered the Platinum Chip. Let's have it. I'm not giving it to you. Hmm, how shall I put this? Delivery of the Platinum Chip is non-negotiable. I invite you to think carefully about what you do next. Standing alone before me, surrounded by my heavily armed Securitron guards. Well, you see, the thing is... Fuck you. By the time I was 30 years old, oh, I was God. a billionaire 30 times over. Oh. I founded and ran a vast economic empire. So proud of you. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention, my property, mine! Now be a good courier and deliver it. Uh. I'm more of a mercenary now, so fuck you. You needn't be afraid of me. It's my Securitrons that are going to kill you. They may try. Wow. OP firearms. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Open antechamber. Yes. You think they'd have that? Damn it! You know, have a password on that thing or something. But warning: microbial infection risk. Proceed. That sounds fatal. I'm interested. Oh my god. Well, that settles that. Mr. House is definitely not a computer. Well, you don't know for sure. Science has come a long way. Well, I suppose not as long as I thought. Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. I <laughs> like your dick tube. That's... And you got a, a, a nipple cover? That's great stuff. The NCR asked me very politely to get rid of you. Those snakes! For them, you sad, misguided whore! Sometimes. You know what? I'm feeling generous. You're not gonna be able to control anything, but I'm gonna let you live. No! Don't disable Cerebro! I'd rather be killed! Just kill me! Well, pff. You're just gonna turn down a kind offer like that, so be it. Oh! Right into a level up. Profound. Ah, uh, he had such promise. He was a billionaire 30 times over, I tell you. Hey, lady. Report. Is Mr. Howe still a threat? I'm gonna say probably not. However, I also didn't expect him to still be alive. 
and not a computer program, so you can't be too sure of things nowadays. Then that's one more nuisance we won't have to worry about. Good work. Our efforts haven't gone unnoticed, either. The Brass have been throwing around the idea of having the President visit the dam for a while now, to rally the troops and boost morale and such. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios-1 solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? I mean, there are a lot of questions that just got raised right now, considering my involvement with the Brotherhood recently, but no. Dismissed. I... I guess not. So the question is, is it gonna be a bad idea to take Veronica? Wait, where the fuck is Veronica? Wow. Just ditch us like that, I guess. Fine. Whatever. Hello again. Welcome, Outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. With the surface open to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios. But I hope to dissuade him. What can I do for you? Well, I wouldn't get too happy. Um, got some bad news. NCR kind of want... Well... You know how you're underground right now? They're looking to put you underground in a very different way. I suppose it was only a matter of time. I wonder if, given the NCR's current situation, they would consider a truce of sorts. We've given up our claim to Helios, and we don't have any interest in claiming Hoover Dam, so our ambitions are not at cross purposes. Perhaps it's time for a new strategy. Go to the NCR commander and tell her the Brotherhood is willing to put aside our enmity for the time being. Further, tell her that we are willing to send troops to aid in their coming defense of the dam. My guess is they're in no position to refuse. I... like that solution. I'm rather partial to it. With any luck, we won't have to come through here ever again. Ever. Again. I am more than sick and tired of this bunker. Well, I'm hearing somebody shooting. I hope it's just a practice range kind of shooting and not, hey, Digger got into the lunch meat and we had to put him down kind of shooting. That one I hate. Did you get into the lunch meat digger? It's annoying when you do that. And the Brotherhood likely wouldn't take kindly to it. God. Ah, uh, okay. Why do I not have a fast travel marker there? Great. We're in the door again. Has the Brotherhood been found? Absolutely, and they're gonna help us. And you believe them? Do you have any idea how long we've been fighting those bastards? Ugh, Crocker will have a field day with this. He'll want to establish diplomatic relations with them for Pete's sake. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the President. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor's center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the President's visit. Dismissed. Yo. I've heard of you. Ooh. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? This is gonna be tremendous. Good. The President doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. I, I, I guess I'm gonna sleep on the floor. Could've used a pillow. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. No doubt. So where's the golf course? 
The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. Huh? So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. Alright, fine. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. Security sweeps. Do I have to have this activated separately? Uh, great, we gotta look around on our own. These papers seem to be in order. Nothing unusual about this lamp. Okay, we have a Hoover Dam snow globe. We're gonna leave that there. Okay, I, uh, I have enough science. I'm just too modest to show off my hacking skills. Who are you? Your lady friend seems out of place here. Nelson's back in our hands. Which one? It this time. Oh wait, that's right. Veronica's not here anymore. So I guess Willow then. Nelson's back in our hands. Oh Hope my god. Are time. you guys all clones of one another? Honored to speak with you, ma'am. <sighs> hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together. But he hasn't shown up yet. God! <laughs> this is so mean. <laughs> Could he be down in the barracks? He isn't. I already checked there this morning. We were supposed to meet up here about an hour ago. <sighs> I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Hey, no, that's fine. That's fine. So, what kind of person? Was he a trooper? What's on your jumpsuit? Okay, well, we're looking for a weird jumpsuit, I guess. Have you finished your security sweep? Oh my god, did you just talk to me through your mind? That's incredible. Nice eye patch, by the way. I'm ready. When will the reality show host be here? Looks like that's his vertebird coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Oh. That dam holds a lot of water. Shut up, Willow. More than I've ever seen in one place at one Shut time. Shut up. Oh, just showing off, doing a big flyby. <laughs> it's Vertibird 1. <laughs> Good boy. Whoa. That man is not nearly orange enough to be the president. That must be Pence. I don't know who I'm looking for. I wasn't paying attention to what she was saying. I assume someone dressed like her in that jumpsuit, right? Looks like a sniper up there. Probably security. Yeah, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank, thank you for coming, for coming out, out here today for this very special, special occasion. occasion. It is, it is my, my pleasure, pleasure to introduce to you, to you the, the president, president of the, of the new, new California Republic, Republic Aaron Kimball. Thank you, my fellow Californians. There's no way in hell the president would want anything to do with California. Republic. It is for you that I have come here. The greatest of risks. And are prepared to make the most noble sacrifice. This guy's definitely up to something. And the Republic heard of them. Ah! A redundant failsafe detonator. God, that's repetitive. Get it? It's pretty funny. You're not gonna believe it. I found the most monotonous detonator on the planet. What the hell? This must control some sort of bomb that he was gonna use to kill the president. Hmm? Nice work catching this. I'll have my rangers go deal with this man right away. Ah, uh, yes. And though we left behind, behind many, many of our, of our brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters on that battlefield, it did, did not, not break, break us. us. Uh, that sniper moved. Ah! 
Ah, the president got away. Yay. That sniper up there fucking moved, right? Come on, you'll do it. You'll get it. Yeah, second time's a charm. Bye, Mr. President. See you on Fox News. I did such a good thing. I saved the president from commies. Ma'am? Is the president safe? Yes, ma'am. He departed safely, all the way back home to his tower that his name is on. Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of this power plant. Dismissed. Yes, dismissed. You are committing to fight with the NCR at the battle for Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. If there's anything you want to do before you enter the battle, do it now before you cross the point of no return. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Huh. <sighs> oh, got a bad case of the nerves. Oh. What? <laughs> I have to c talk to her again? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Uh, before we do anything, gotta say my goodbyes to my friends here. And of course, by friends, I mean my pests. Hey! Digger? Yeah, that's a good dog. Uh, it's been fun. But I don't need you getting killed in battle because you're too busy chewing on people's lunch meat. So it's time for us to part ways. Hey, don't you worry, little boy. We'll see each other again if I don't get my head blown off. But don't you worry. I'll meet up with you at the Lucky 38. Growl at me, you little shit. Willow. Willow. Are you planning to ally with the NCR? Is that why you're running these errands for them? Uh, yeah? Well, I'm not excited about getting involved in this war, and I wish we didn't have to do it. And I probably don't even need to say this, but if we have to get involved, I want to fight with the NCR. I don't need you chewing on people's lunch meat either, so could you just go back to the Lucky 38? Without you? All right, but it won't be any fun. I don't like it there. Why? Because there's a dead man in the attic? It's a good point, actually. Niner? Oh, God. Um, I'm not gonna regret this at all. It's time for us to part ways. What? Are, are you sure? Remember that schoolhouse? Um, in fact, I think that was the place where we met Digger. Go there. Okay. I mean, you know, if you, if you think so. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you in Vegas sometime. It's been real sex. Yeah. Oh, no. I failed Niner Companion. God, he's gone forever. Oh. No. We'll never get Niner back. Uh, even though I wasn't planning on ever getting any of those companions back anyway. 